Welcome back guys, Dark Saint here bringing you another video talking to you guys about The Division. Now, if my quality is a little bit different, I just got a new headset. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's not too staticky or anything crazy like that. These are some new Turtle Beach X24 headsets with some crazy little features on them that will actually help me in game. Either way, enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump into what we're talking about here with The Division. And this is how to make the strongest backpack. First thing we're going to do is compare our... 182 high-end versus our 191 gear set aka mint items and you'll notice of course that the 182 are actually stronger than the 191 for stat wise however running 191 does give you the gear set perk if you have three four however many you need in order to get the specific gear set that you're looking for so that's your difference the 182 do have better stats however you can get the gear set completion with having the four pieces or whatever it is that you need. Moving right along after that, now we'll compare the 204 high end versus the 214 gear set. In the same situation, the 204 are stronger than the 214s, making it viable to actually pick up the 204 high ends. If you guys don't know where you can get these 204s, you can actually find blueprints for the 204s at the gear vendor in Safe House at DZ02. He does cycle through them and everything, but getting your hands on the one you want might take a little bit of time. Uh, be sure to check here every Thursday as I talk about the reset so you guys can see if you might be able to pick up something you're looking for. Now, uh, at the end of this week, I will be going over what all high-end attributes and hidden skills can come on the high-end items, so be sure to look forward to that. And I will give my thoughts on the best setups running, you know, four sentry call and two high-end something else. So either way, look forward to that. Either way, looking at these two, you'll notice, of course, the 204 is higher and has higher stats. One interesting fact that I came across, however, with uh, looking at these uh, backpacks is that the uh, attributes and the armor are actually identical. So your attribute range and your armor range is the exact same, regardless of what gear piece you're looking at for the backpacks. Just an interesting fact that I would throw in there for you guys. So, if you are looking for the range, just look at the attribute level, and that'll tell you your range of your armor rating that you can get. So, look, you know, just a little hidden spoiler there for you guys. Alright, right before we jump in and look at all the uh, other attributes, major and minor attributes on the backpack, uh, we'll compare the last 204 high-end versus the 240 gear set armor piece. And you'll notice again that the 240 is definitely the strongest in the game. That's a given. And again, that does make it a little bit more, you know, resourceful to get your gear score up to want to run 240. However, you can technically make a stronger character, you know, with more abilities if you run four 240s and possibly swap out some of those 240s for some 204s. Because sometimes, I mean, yeah, you might have higher armor, but if your armor already maxes out at 65% armor mitigation, it doesn't make any sense to go any more than that. Uh, and also, the attributes, though they are more, they're only slightly more. And you may want to go ahead and take that loss in exchange for some of the hidden abilities on your high-end items. Now, if you do go the max 240 gear set, you can get your gear score all the way up to 228. And if you choose to go with two items that are 204, with four items that are 240, your max gear score would be 220 rather than 228. So you do lose eight gear score, and you may lose out a little bit on attributes. Mind you, even though it is minor per piece, that is two pieces that you're giving up. So your attributes will be, you know, could could potentially be anywhere from 50 to 100 points less than what you would have if you ran full 240. Just giving you guys that so you guys understand where you're at stat-wise. Okay, all the math is behind us. We know what backpack we want. We have it on us. We just got it. Now we're ready to look at our attributes to see what is good and what is not. First thing we have is you have your critical hit damage, armor, skill power, skill haste, and signature ability resource gain. Critical hit damage is rather nice to have for those that are running high DPS. However, it can be overlooked in some situations. Armor. Now, if you have armor on your chest piece and you want to put armor in your gear mod slots throughout your armor setup, then you can go ahead and do those with armor attached to those, and that'll probably get you to 65 armor mitigation. However, if you don't want armor in those and you want to put something else in your gear mod slots, you go ahead and pick up armor on this, and that should put you at 65%. However, it can put you over 65%, so consider that. 
Next, we'll look at skill power, which is insane. If you're running an electronics build, get the skill power because it is way more significant than any gear mod slot can give you. Your skill haste and your signature ability resource gain are both good to have, and they're not to be overlooked too easily. However, you can get those from other sources, so those aren't necessarily something you necessarily need right away. Next, we have your disrupt resistance, ammo capacity, bleed resistance, and burn resistance. Disrupt resistance is just an annoyance more than it is anything. Bleed resistance, though it does stop you to run, you can still shoot and fight even if you are bleeding, and you can heal yourself as well, so that's not necessarily a big thing. Burn resistance is nice to have, as if you're on fire, you cannot do anything, you can't shoot back, you're pretty much left to the mercy of the player, other than being able to use med kits, there's not much you can do. However, you can avoid it with immunity base. Last one, of course, is your ammo capacity, but if you have ammo on your chest piece, this may not be needed. The other two abilities you have is your minor attributes, which, of course, are based off of your skills. Either way, you guys, that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.